Right now, as we mentioned, the search continues for a 10-year-old girl who disappeared in Aurora yesterday. Federal investigators are now getting involved in the search for Daniela Ruano Morales. Now, she was last seen wearing a gray tank top. She had sweatpants with some flowers on them. She was last seen about 10 a.m. yesterday. Number 7's Megan Lopez is live on scene. And Megan, at first, police didn't suspect foul play in this case. That's right, and then the family didn't even report her disappearance for several hours. They say that Daniela had told them that she was planning on leaving the family home yesterday, but then after they hadn't heard from her for several hours, they started searching this area on their own. Then around 4 p.m., they called police. That's when they got involved, and today they are handing out these missing persons flyers uh, to neighbors. They're stopping cars. They're asking for anybody with information to contact them as they continue to search for little Daniela. This morning, we continue to look for Daniela Ruano Morales. House by house, car by car, Aurora police are continuing their search for a missing 10 year old today. The FBI will be assisting in this search. Now more than 24 hours after Daniela Ruano Morales was last seen. CBI issued a missing and danger alert. The police presence ramped up here at the family's house near Montview and Elmira Street overnight with canine units now joining in. This afternoon, that search will head to the sky. Today, we will also be using some drones. On the ground, officers are already passing out flyers, talking with neighbors, and searching around the family's home. We have been in constant communication with the family. They are very distraught, but they are cooperative. While neighbors like Teresa Alderete also joined in on that search today. I went to go take my kids to school, and the police officer stopped me on the next street over, and uh, they showed me the picture, you know, I'm like, still kind of shaky. She works at a nearby convenience store and says Daniela and her brother often walk there to get their favorite snacks. They're called smooshies. So it's like a cookie with the marshmallow on top. Now Teresa is hoping for the best and doing what she can to help. She shouldn't be alone. You know, she's 10 years old. And she wants Daniela's family to know she's thinking about that. Like they just need to keep looking, you know, just don't lose faith. That's all I could say, you know, as a mother, like don't give up. So something that I could tell you is that just within the past uh, hour or so, really, we watched as police put up this yellow police tape around the family's house here on Elmira Street. Uh, police tweeted out just a short time ago that that doesn't necessarily mean anything. They're just using it to kind of block off traffic as their investigators continue to scour this area and look for Daniela. Police said that they're going to give us an update around noon today. So watch Denver 7 on air, online, and on our Facebook page. We'll bring you the very latest. I'm live in Aurora, Megan Lopez, Denver 7.